Rebecca here again. Um, I'm a teacher librarian in one of the local schools in Canberra. Today I'm going to talk to you about this book here, Make Believe, MC Show for Kids, published by the Victorian uh, Gallery. Uh, this was one of the books that was up for an information book award in the Children's Book Council of Australia uh, awards this year. It is an interesting book. It's a really hard one to describe because what it is, is it's, it tells you the history of Escher. It talks about his artwork and he talks about optical illusions and how the brain works. There's a whole lot of different things that it talks about. I guess the best thing to do is to actually just read you the blurb because I can't really put it in my own words. Stars, mirrors, eye tricks and the impossible. These are just a few of the things that inspired artist M.C. Escher to create some of the most fascinating images of the 20th century. In this book, read about the artist's life, his travels and his passions for creating optical illusions that play tricks with our minds. Along the way, learn about the anatomy of the eye, test your wits with riddles and quizzes. So it's a really interesting book because it starts off telling you about the life of Escher. Okay. Um, and the most magnificent illustrations. Escher was the most fabulous artist. Uh, obviously, you've got the contents. If you pause, you can have a proper look at what the contents is of the book. And then you go on. So you've got lots of different ones of his prints, his drawings, uh, and you know, pictures of himself. You, he is just amazing. The artwork that Escher has managed to create is just phenomenal. I can't imagine making these kinds of, of, of prints. So if you look at the text, it's talking about uh, the steps, you know, the illusions that we created. And in some points, they actually give you uh, opportunities to create your own artwork. So at the back, um, we have, so about his tessellations, and then this one, this is fantastic. I can see lots of kids and adults having a go at this, making their own optical illusions with trees. So if you're interested in Escher's work, read this. If you're interested in maths in art, read this. If you're just interested in looking at optical illusions and trying to work out, hey, how did the artist do that, read this book. Fantastic book. Uh, thanks for listening.